Hey, what up y'all? It's me, your boy, Lil D, coming at you from the den with another nursing video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about you just got your BSN, now what? Now before we get into the video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. I post nursing related videos one to two times a week. If you have any video ideas that you want me to do, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. But yeah, let's get into it. The infamous question of now what? As nurses, I feel like this is something that we're always being asked. You get your associates, now what? You get your bachelors, now what? You're going for your masters, and then what? Someone's always asking you this question, and getting your bachelors is a big deal. I know we play it off as it's not, but you go to school, you do a lot of papers for that bachelors, it is a big deal. Now there doesn't always have to be a now what? You could be exactly where you wanna be. Some people, they wanna be at the bedside and they're exactly where they wanna be. They're up to date with, your, with their education. They're gonna stay a good resource for the unit if they stay on it longer. So they're exactly where they wanna be and there isn't a now what? But if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking in your head, now what? you're probably already looking at new ideas, new routes that you could go with your education, and this is why I am making this video. So first things first, let's ask yourself, do you wanna stay at the bedside, or do you wanna get away from the bedside? If you wanna stay at the bedside, having your bachelor's will make you a lot more creditable on your resumes and make your license more long-standing for people looking to hire you. You could go into travel nursing. A lot of places like you to have your BSN, and that's a really cool gig if you're single or even if you're in a relationship, but you could go and travel around the states or around the world and do different assignments and really have them pay you more than you would if you were stagnant in one place. Plus they pay for your room and board, sometimes they pay for your food, your flights, so it really is a good gig. Maybe you're looking to go into the ICU. Now having a bachelor's will make you a lot more creditable on your resume when going to get a position in the ICU. And when you're applying to the ICU, they don't like to see that you're going to school to get your MSN because they want people in that role that are gonna stay there. It takes a lot of work to train an ICU nurse and it really discourage, actually discourages them when it looks like you're looking to get away from the bedside completely where they're gonna put in all this effort just for you to leave in maybe a year, a year and a half. Now for those of you that wanna get away from the bedside that are thinking, I can't do this forever, Let's talk about education. Now you don't have to go to school to get away from the bedside, but going back to school uh, opens up a lot of different opportunities, a lot increased in pay, and you can do exactly what you wanna do. First things first, there's nurse practitioner. If you're looking to do more in-house rounding with the physicians, you could do that. Or if you wanna do more in-clinic visits with patients, you could do that with your nurse practitioner. You could get into education. If you wanna teach kids, you can get into a school and really form your own curriculum and really work with them and have your own group of students who you take through this and really give them a good experience because my nursing school was not a good experience. So if you are getting into education, make sure that's really what you wanna do. Of course, there's the role of management or higher ups. You could get your MSN related to business somehow or management, and they're actually gonna be requiring all managers, at least in my hospital, and I believe it's in Arizona, to have their MSN or be currently going to school for their MSN. Now, if you don't know what your MSN is, it's a Master's of Science in Nursing with an emphasis in any of these topics that we're talking about. And last but not least, what I'm going to school for is Nursing Informatics. Now, this is gonna take a little less than two years. I'm about one year until completion and I'm so excited. I do kind of want to get away from the bedside eventually, not right now, I mean I could with my bachelor's. So if you have your bachelor's and you want to look into informatics before you go into schooling, you can get a job in informatics with a bachelor's degree. But I want to stay at the bedside for now, get as much experience as I can with that. That way when I get my master's I can apply and have all my bedside experience as a nurse my mentality and really put that into the informatics perspective now these are some opportunities of now what that you have your bsn but if you just got your bsn congratulations 
that is it for this nursing related video. You can check out some of my other nursing videos right here. Leave a comment down below saying hi. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.